The biggest reason why Africans are still in poverty is that the people and countries who colonized Africa still own the commodities of Africa. Africa is rich. It's only the Africans who are poor. And they always want to say, no, we elect corrupt leaders, dictators, politicians. Remember, the politicians have access to taxes. So in a country like South Africa, there's 28% of net profits, right? So how can you expect a government to provide services when they only have access to the tax money? This is why we will never call Russians terrorists. Russians have not invaded Africa. Taliban have not invaded Africa. How many times has the USA sent their people in Africa? How many leaders of Africa were killed by the CIA? Patrice Lumumba being one of the most famous, and uh, Gaddafi. And all these leaders were saying is that let African commodities be owned by Africans. It's 2022, and you've got Anglo de Beers, Tiffany and Co., Anglo American, PhD Wilson. All of these companies got our commodities in Africa during colonization, apartheid, and all was called the scramble for Africa, then the scramble out of Africa. They still own everything. That is why Africans are still poor. And the, the biggest issue is when the, there's a leader who says, African commodities will be returned to the people or to the state. That leader is either killed, hence Gaddafi, exiled or character assassinated and even imprisoned, as we've seen happen to Jacob Zuma, as we have also seen happen to Brazilian President Lula. Each leader who says we want Africans to own African commodities gets treated in in a very harsh way you know they have uh, they drum up these frivolous charges you know which are designed to exhaust their bank accounts embarrass them and then to send a message to other leaders who want to have the same message like we want african commodities to be surrendered and for reparations to be paid and we want that to go to the state if if, if people are saying no the state will then uh, steal the money we have auditors for that south africa has the best auditing program the best ca program in the world hence we have the king committee in in south africa we will take care of that but we can no longer go on and say that the, the people who own our commodities must continue to own it. If you got it, you not if you got it unlawfully. You killed to get it. You lied to get it. You put our leaders, our kings, and the jurists to get it. Return it, pay reparations so that Africans can, can live to their potential. We don't want Bill Gates donations we don't want it and we don't need it we want african commodities to be owned by africans this should be the standard we as africans we must teach our kids to say africa my boy african commodities must be returned to africans we're not saying white people leave the country. We're not saying any people leave the, the continent. No, we're just saying our golds, our mines, tobacco, our sugar, our cocoa, uh, you know, diamonds, oil, fishing rights, maritime rights. We want all that to go to be owned by Africans. It is absolute BS that we have American companies, Chinese companies, European companies who are owning African commodities. If you got it during the time of apartheid, during the time of colonization, you have acquired that unlawfully, give it up, pay reparations for having been exploiting us. That is the solution we need. You know, people always talk about how the Jewish uh, people are so rich and so together and it, because they, they, st they stand together. You see what they did to Kanye West and Kyrie Irving over words, right? 
We're calling on Africans. We're calling on Africans uh, who are in 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 the forefront. The celebrities, your Yanises, you know, your, your Joel and Beats, uh, you know, the, the Africans who are in in, in who have <sighs> sort of uh, who hold the high, who are held in high esteem. We want to. We want the the conversation to begin. We want the conversation to be heard across the goal, the globe. Nelson Mandela is loved because he basically said, everything you attained during apartheid and colonization, keep it. That's why Chris Ani was killed because Chris Ani said, nope, we want the economic to be given to the people. South Africa has the worst inequality in the world because of what Nelson Mandela agreed to, what Ramaphosa agreed to. And Ramaphosa is further exacerbating that distress in South Africa through privatizations. We as African countries need state assets. Let the commodities be given to the states and then the states to disseminate the profits from that back to the people. We are facing high unemployment because our Commodities belong to other people. Africa, my boy, it's not yet Uhuru. We want the commodities in the hands of Africans. And and I would encourage Africans to say, we don't don't just say you want land. Because when you say you want land, they will give you barren lands and they'll say build your homes. Yes, 